So I recently saw a project on, or a project idea on first build, about notifying um, the user, uh, it could be a text message or email or anything like that, when their dryer or their washer had finished um, running by monitoring the power usage. So what I've got here is a toroid, um, which is basically uh, has one AC line running through it. So this is just um, basically an extension, uh, I'll show you this. So you've got one end that plugs into your socket and then one end that you plug your appliance into. Now this is obviously thin wire but it's just a demonstration. So um, in this case I'm going to plug in a CFL light and Oops, okay, so we've got the toroid here, I've got my multimeter attached to it, and I'm measuring the voltage. So what you'll see when I turn the uh, light on is that it increases, and this is dependent on the load. Um, so not only could you determine when the uh, device is turned on and off, but you could also determine um, what stage it's in. For instance, if it's a washing machine, you could have it. Um, you'd have to monitor it beforehand to get some numbers. But you could have it message you, okay, I finished the first cycle. Now I'm spinning it. Now I'm doing this, etc. Um, so again, if you monitor the voltage, and when I turn it on, sorry if this is unreadable on the camera. There you go. I'm now going to connect this hairdryer. Now this is a 1000 watt hairdryer and this wire is extremely thin so I won't be able to run this for very long. Let's plug that in and I'll turn on the hairdryer. See how the voltage increased? So there you go, that's a really easy way to monitor when an AC device is turned on or not. And you could plug any device into this, um, provided you know you had thick enough wire. You could plug in a, um, a bread machine, a microwave, a washing machine, dryer, anything at all, provided you know it can handle the current. Um, and you can monitor roughly what stage it's in, or whether it's on or off. And all you need is a toroid and a, you know, a little bit of wire wrapped around it and uh, monitor the voltage, feed it into an Arduino on the analog input or as an analog input, uh, monitor that, you might have to amplify it, um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, it's a simple cheap way of doing it. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.